third method. The third method is gain measurement with three antima methods. Three antima methods. Okay, so three antima gain measurement by three antima methods. Okay, so what is this three antima methods? Okay, so totally I'm going to take three antima. Let us I'm going to take A1, A2, A3. I have taken three antinas. Let us consider antina A1, antina A2, antina A3. Antima A3. Okay. So let us take case one. In case one. In case one. So A1 is my transmitting antenna. In case one, A1 is my transmitting antenna. And A2 is my receiving antenna. A2 is my receiving antenna. Okay. So So this is the this is my case one. Okay. So which in case one, which, which antenna is transmitting antenna? A1 is transmitting antenna and A2 is receiving antenna. Okay. So in this case, let P1 is the transmitted power. Let P1 is the transmitted power. And omega 1 is the received power. Okay. So A1 is the transmitted power of antenna A1 and omega 1 is the received power of antenna A2. Okay. Similarly, take case 2. In case 2. In case 2 also, A1 is transmitting antenna and A3 is receiving antenna. A3 is receiving antenna. Okay. So, in this case, in this case, this, in this case also, if the P1 is equal to P2. Okay. So that is here P1 and P2 is same, is nothing but amount of power transmitted by transmitting antenna A1. Since in this case 2, we have considered that A1 as transmitting antenna and A3 as receiving antenna. Okay. So, so what is this W2? W2 is the amount of power received by receiving antenna. The amount of power received by receiving antenna 3. Okay, so here we are considering that in case two A3 has receiving antenna. Okay, so the how much of amount of power that is collected by A3 is rated as W2. Okay. Now let us take the case three. Now let us take the case three. Case three in case three here antenna A2 is transmitting antenna and antenna A3 is receiving antenna. Antenna A2 is Transmitting antenna and antenna A3 is receiving antenna. So, since A2 is receiving antenna, the P3. P3 denotes, mm, in case 3, what is this P3 denotes? The amount of power radiated by antenna A2 and this is W3. Okay, what is this W3 denotes? The amount of power received by receiving antenna A3. Because in case 3, a2 is act as transmitting antenna and A3 is acting as receiving antenna. Okay. Now, simply we can apply the Fields transmission equation. Okay. For case one. So, what are the Fields transmission equation says? Use the relationship between received power and transmitted power in terms of effective aperture. In terms of effective aperture. For example, let us take what is the expression for this one? Mm. So, this is nothing but omega 1 by P1 is equal to uh, AET into AER into lambda square into R square. Okay. So, so what is the expression for AET in terms of gain? AET is equal to um, G1 of, since that is transmitting antenna 1, G1 of lambda square by 4 pi. Similarly, what is the formula for AET? So, you are writing is a G2 because this AER is receiving and now which is our receiving and now A2. Okay, so G2 into lambda square by 4 pi into 1 pi lambda square into R square. Lambda square, lambda square we get cancel. Okay, like this here, what is the expression you can write for uh, case 2? Mm. Case 2 is what is the receiving power? W2. What is the transmitting power? Similarly, uh, that is P2R, P1. P2R. Okay, let us consider here. Uh, and so here, 
W2 or uh, we can write it as P2 is equal to the expression is uh, AET to AER by lambda square into R square. Here, what is the expression here? Uh, here, what is the transmitting antenna? Transmitting antenna is G1. So, that is G1 lambda square by 4 pi into mm. what is the receiving antenna? G3. G3 lambda square by 4 pi. To 1 by lambda square r square. Okay. So similarly, here also you write the expression W3 by P3 is equal to same expression A E T into A E R by lambda square into R square. Okay, here tell me what is the expression for here? Which one is the transmitting antenna here? A, A2. So therefore, we will write G2 into lambda square by 4 by E2. What is the receiving antenna? G3. So that is G3 into lambda square by 4 pi into 1 by lambda square r square lambda lambda you get cancelled. Consider this is expression 1, consider this is expression 2, consider this is expression 3. Okay, so I will show here. So this is the first one. <coughs> okay, so this is the second one. Okay, so this is my first one. Okay, so this is my first expression. First expression means A1 is transmitting, A2 is receiving. Okay, by using Phillips transmission method, G1, G2 is equal to omega 1, P1 by 4 pi R by lambda whole square. What is this omega 1? Omega 1 is, W1 is amount of power received by receiving antenna 2. P1 is amount of power transmitted by transmitting antenna 1. So, total we have taken three antennas. Total we have taken three antennas. Okay. So, this is the expression for the first case. Okay. So, this is the expression for first case. Okay. So, this is for first case. Next, this is the expression for second case. Okay. Second case means, what is the expression for second case here? A1 is transmitting antenna and A3 antenna A3 is receiving. Okay, so G1, G3 is equal to this. Okay, third case. What is the third case? A2 is transmitting antenna and A3 is receiving antenna. A2 is transmitting antenna and A3 is equal to this one. So, this is expression 3. Okay, so the same expression 1. So, this expression 1 can be written in terms of DB says. This expression 1 can be written in terms of DB says. So, G1 plus G2 is equal to, so simply I am applying a, a log on both sides or uh, dBs, okay, G1 by G2 is equal to 10 log base 10 W1 by P1 plus 20 log 4 by R by lambda. So, similarly for expression 2, for expression 2, okay, for expression 2, okay, so it is G1 plus G3 is equal to 10 log W2 by P2 plus 20 log 4 pi r by lambda. So, this is for expecting you to So, this is for expression 1 expressed in dBs. This is expression 2 expressed in dBs. This. So, knowing the values of omega 1, omega 2, omega w2, p2, p3, 3, lambda and r, you can calculate the values of g1, g2, g3. Okay. So, all these values, you know, we can take summation or subtraction. That G1, G2 is there. G1, G3 is there. You can take subtraction and different combination. From this, you can calculate what is the gain of antenna A1, what is the gain of antenna A2, what is the gain of antenna A3. Okay. Like this, you can calculate, like this, you can um, calculate the gain of the uh, antennas by using the third method that is gain measurement by three antenna method. So the basics for this is Fries transmission equation. Okay, you are writing this expression means this is because of Fries transmission equation. Fries transmission equation. So the what are the Fries transmission equation use? Use the relationship between okay received power to transmitted power in terms of this is transmitting, this is effect area of received by lambda square r square. Okay, so again, what is the formula for the AED effect of purchase area? We know the formula directivity or gain. Directivity or gain G is equal to uh, P is equal to 
What is the expression in between directivity of gain? G equal to directivity. D is equal to 4 pi E by lambda square. From this, what is the expression for A? A is equal to G into lambda square by 4 pi. So, in the place of A, E, we can replace with G into lambda square by 4 pi. Okay. So, depending upon the antenna. For example, if transmitting uh, A1 is acting as transmitting antenna, you write it as G. If uh, antenna A2 is acting as receiving antenna, then you write it as G2 lambda square by 4 pi. Okay. So, similarly, if uh, A2 is transmitting antenna and A3 is receiving antenna, how, how will you write this? Write it as G2 lambda square by 4 pi and here it is G3 lambda square by 4 pi. Okay. So, everything here, this comes from freeze transmission equation. Very, very important equation. Freeze transmission equation. Freeze transmission equation. Freeze transmission equation. So, this is how we can calculate the gain G1, G2, G3. Okay. So, these are the things we want to keep in mind. Okay. So, let us revise what we have discussed in this uh, antenna measurement. So, basic fundamental thing is uh, you want to keep in mind the setup for radiation pattern. Radiation pattern. Once if you obtain the radiation pattern, so many parameters by seeing that radiation pattern, you can calculate so many parameters. Okay. So, what are the precautions? And transmitting antenna and antenna under test should be separated by a minimum distance of R should be greater than or equal to 2D square by lambda. And the entire setup should be kept in NI chamber in order to get hmm, what is the use of this uh, NI chamber in order to uh, uh, eliminate the effects of in order to eliminate the effects of external electromagnetic interference. And the third one is the transmitting antenna gain should be more. For any antenna setup, this one is important. Okay, this one is important. 